Hello everyone, it's Saxy Jojo, here bringing you a new game called Nothing Can Stop Us. Now, I don't remember what this game is about, and I'm hoping that's a really long one considering that I see the little continue right there. So um, we're just going to jump in, and we're just going to figure out what's the play. Year 76. Hey, can you tell me something? Sure dear, what is it? I have this feeling that I did something bad. I mean, something horribly bad. Is that true? Oh, oh, okay, so I'm the. F so this is, I guess that's like a husband and uh, the wifey. Uh. <laughs> it's too late now, don't think about it. <laughs> no, you didn't, yes. Um. Hmm. I'm ahead, it's too late now, don't think about it. You're seven, you can see it from here. So this is that place you were talking about. Oh, oh hold on. <laughs> no one comes here, I can kill you and get away with it, easy. Why is... So this is the place you were talking about? I'm gonna go with the nicer option for now. Yes. How beautiful is it? Is this? I thought you were joking, but it's really nice. You can tell it. You can't tell anybody about it, okay? You have to promise that. Cross your heart and hope to die. I promise. I'm serious. No one knows I come here. My mother will beat me if she hears it. Hey, I promised already. Don't be a buzz killer. I will keep my mouth shut. Year nine, invader. This is all moving really quickly. What? But you have nothing. There is nothing to see. This is unfair. Too bad for you. You think it looks so weird and sad. Isn't it uncomfortable? Uh, a little. But they say that when you grow up, it gives you some kind of power. Like a plasma gun. Gross. I wouldn't want a plasma gun where I pee. Can I scroll up? Wait. 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 Oh god, they're flashing each other. <laughs> this is not what I signed up. It's cool and said, you should move it with it. Well, I wouldn't want to have to sit when I pee. Better plasma gun than nothing. Wow, they're comparing. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's wow that is that caught me by surprise it took me a second i realized that now with the whole the the silhouette of the panties and the, the pants down okay it all makes sense now better a plasma gun than nothing <laughs> My aunt says that you men always have to over uh, compensate with guns and stuff. I mean, people with big trucks. I, that's why we're so cool. I don't think this. No, I don't think he knows what overcompensate even means. <laughs> uh, sure. So, what do we do now? I want to play Space Invaders. You always want to play that, but I don't. But I don't have it at home. Come on, let's go. You're 11, dog. Do you believe in God? Which God? Uh, you know, God. There are tons of different gods. You should be more specific. They're all the same in the end, just with different names. That's not true. Indians have many, for example. Um, okay. Do you believe in some God, then? Actually, I do. Yes. Thanks for asking, but it's kind of personal. What about you? Okay. I really know. Oh no, I'm an atheist. Yes, of course. Uh, I feel like based on like his previous responses, that he was. Huh. I personally believe in God. I feel like this character 
our orange haired friend here, he'd be more of a, um, a fence sitter based on what he's asking. I'm gonna go, I don't really know. So you're undecided as usual? Isn't that too easy? Why easy? There's nothing easy in mysteries. I'm not always undecided, I just uh, like to keep my mind open. You are easy. <laughs> Shots fired. Pew pew. Oh man. Uh... Yeah, that sounds right. I'm not always undecided. I just uh, like to keep my mind open. Whatever. So what's a... so what about it? What's on your mind? Do you believe there's a plan to everything that happens? Are you gonna ask me if what happened to my parents was part of some bigger plan? Oh. Oh, rip. So her parents are dead. At least I want to assume that's what happened to him. Screw you. Year 13, the valley. Man, why'd you bring that douche back here? It was a one-time thing. He got a new camera and wanted to. You're a liar. This is our place. Are you jealous? Is that what it is? This is awkward. Man, I'm not jealous. You promised you would never bring anyone here. It was a one time. You promised. I don't like you when you're like this. I'm going away. Good, and don't ever come back. Oh, I, I screwed up that last line of dialogue. Peace? Peace. You know, I missed you, you angry douchebag. I missed you too. You're 17. Nothing will stop us. Wait, you're telling me you're gay? <laughs> I'll tell you I like girls. <laughs> ah, you're gay. Me? I'm a lesbo queen. <laughs> Aha! Ha, ha. Okay, so you seem persuasive enough, but I thought... I mean... You kissed me last summer. I didn't just kiss you if you remember correct. Are you saying my boobs are so lame that you forgot about them already? I did not. That's why... Look, I was curious and still uncertain. I wanted to see how it was with the, you know... Sexy beast. <laughs> Aha. That's, that's really not what I was going to say. So you didn't like it? It's not like I didn't like it. It was nice, just not um, exciting as it should be. You know, it's impossible. But it's possible that you simply don't like me. That didn't make you wet, huh? I don't know. Maybe we should try again. I feel like this one's a better option. You know, it's possible that you simply don't. Are you saying I'm so superficial that I didn't think this through? Okay, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Also, what's not to like about? What's not to like in this cute little face? Ah, screw you. <laughs> screw you too. And never again, and never again think that I'm- wait, 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 wait. And never again think that I might not like you, okay? okay. And never again think that I might not like you. Okay. So you're stupid and hug me. Mm -hmm. Promise me that we'll be friends forever, and that we'll come here even when we get old. I promise you, nothing will stop us. A <laughs> cross your heart and hope to die. Cross my heart and hope to die. You're 21. War. I'm saying it's ridiculously wrong. Well, you have always been there, the definition of anti-American, so I'm not surprised. Are you saying you agree with their evasion politics? It's complicated. How complicated? They're invading a foreign nation just so they can exploit it as usual. Yes, but that foreign nation is a menace to the rest of the world. An hypothetical menace. And only if you believe the propaganda. I just think we don't have enough information to judge. If you cared enough, you would find all the information you need. As you wish. Maybe I just don't care enough about Vietnam, okay? I got other issues right now. I'm sorry, you're right. How's your mother? Oh! Oh, rip! 
I don't want to talk about that either. Year 24. Assumptions. Oh snap. Oh! oh. <laughs> Look at those houses. They're going to invade the whole valley. I hope they bought a whole lot of terrain already. I hate them so much, whoever they are. By the way, did you get that job? Nah. Didn't go well. Oh? Why? I thought you were overqualified with your fancy university degree. Not sure. The guy looked kind of surprised when he saw me. I think he assumed I was white. Wait, wait, so my character's not... What? You mean before or after he saw you? Oh, screw you. There's nothing to joke about. That. You know me. I joke about everything, dear. Well, anyway, I have another appointment next week. Good. In the wait, so uh, did they end up getting back together? Were they ever together to begin with? I'm so I have so many questions. <laughs> In the meantime, those very purple, very purple pickups. God, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> She seems like the girl that would spray a penis on someone's car. Let's go spray a purple. No! I hit the wrong one! Let's go to a movie. <laughs> I meant to click the middle option because it sounded like it leads to an interesting string of events. Taxi driver just came out at the Atlantis. Let's go there. Oh, I wanted to see Blade Runner. If I lose a job, I get to decide. <laughs> ah, okay, you would. You're 26. Two. Why are you pl why are you playing your life all over again? I don't know. There's something there that I miss that I'm missing. You're at the early stages of Alzheimer's, aren't you? I still have to get a diagnosis. Your early memories feel brighter and you're more attracted to them? Something like that, yes. You make me feel like a moth now. If that's true, then who am I? You're my friend. Are you sure? What you mean? I'm sick. Don't play with me. I'm not the one that is playing. <laughs> what? Hold up. Okay, so our friend... Our... Our player... I'm assuming the, the real main character here, between the two of them, is the orange head dude. Who is. I wanna say he's African American. Because of the, the one part where he's like, they assumed I was white. Or maybe he's of Indian descent, or like. He's. He's anything but white. So there's that. His friend here is wild, crazy, and free. So that's also something to take into account. I'm assuming she lost her parents at a very young age as of what she's doing right now is undecided she seems like she's probably just like I don't know doing whatever it is she can to get by meanwhile he he went to like a college got a degree all that fun jazz aroni but where does that all fit into the scheme of things because we just saw in that last scene that he's in the early stages of Alzheimer's which means he's forgetting his memories but if he remembers all this stuff and he remembers his friend as she's questioning if he's really there, does that mean like the memories we're seeing now are all falsified or something? Huh. <laughs> I'm, I really want to hit the back button because I want to save and try this. To I want to stop the S with so here, but I don't know if um where it'll lead me. So we're gonna play through this last. Last little section and then try and go from there. So, you're really doing this. Artificial insemination? Artificial insemination. Hold up. Pause for the cause. I need a. I'm curious. I'm gonna look this up real quick because I don't know what that is. Well, I know what artificial is, but I don't know what the insemination part is for. I don't 100% know what it is. We're just learning all sorts of new things today. Okay, 
here we go, here we go. The injection... Oh! Okay, so it's the injection of semen into the vagina or uterus, other than bisexual intercourse. So it's by, so it's like for those people that um to want to have a that want to get pregnant, but like their husband has like a narrow urethra or something like that, or some medical condition that prevents them from being able to do it. Okay, 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 cool, cool. I did it already. My uterus is having a blast right now. You could have asked me. Alright, so that sort of statement makes me think that he's he's like he's in love with her and stuff like that. Which it makes sense, you know. They've been friends for what seems like a really, really long time, several, several years, probably over a decade. So it only makes sense that one would have feelings for the other. I thought you would go for adoption. Because of my past, you mean? Well, yes. I would have opted for adoption. But Adele strongly wanted a child with some of our genes. You really like Adele, do you? I love her. I really do. 30. Year 30. Moon. Imagine that. Yesterday, humanity walked on the moon for the first time. Really impressive, huh? You know, standing here looking at the moon together makes me think of something. What? These options all conflict me. Holy moly. I thought you'd grow up to be gay. <laughs> I love you. I truly want to be a mother, you know? Alright, so. I feel like that top one isn't gonna isn't gonna add much to the story. But the the middle one and the bottom one are just gonna it's just like it's gonna open up a path of dialogue that none of us are expecting. Holy moly. Especially since the last scene, she was like, I love Adele. But then we have this. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, flick that I want to click. I truly want to be a mother, you know? You'll be a wonderful mother. I know, right? But your kids will hate you anyway. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I know that too. Oh, man. Yeah, they have no idea what you went through to push them out of your vagina. <laughs> I'll make a video of it and show it to them, so they can be scarred for life and, <laughs> and respect me. I second that. But seriously, you will be awesome. Thank you. Now hug time. Okay. This... I'm gonna end the episode here. Because I feel like we made a large bit of progress. Um, if push comes to shove and the back button doesn't do what I think it does, I'll merely just uh, replay this episode and just follow the exact same steps that I did, and that way I'll end up back at this point here. Because I do, I do feel like the dialogue chosen does um, determine where we go and what dialogue we get. So rather than doing something different that could cause me to end up somewhere else altogether, I'm just going to follow the exact same steps. But that's only if the back button doesn't work like how I think it does. So yeah, that's all for this episode. If you like it, make sure to like and subscribe for more nonsense. If you have a game you think I should play, feel free to leave it in the comments below and I will check it out. And by check it out, I mean I will scrim the description. I will scrim the description. Wow. Wow, Jojo. Wow. I will skim the description. It's going on a shirt, gang. <laughs> and I will check out the screenshots, and from there I'll probably end up playing it, because I want to play the games that you guys want to play. So, uh, goodbye. <laughs>